During a public health crisis, distilleries across the country pumped out hand sanitizer to cover a nationwide shortage. And now those same distilleries were told to pay $14,000 to the Food and Drug Administration for making over-the-counter drugs without proper licensing. KSVY's Megan Healy spoke with the Central Coast Distillery owners about the impacts of the fee and why they feel they shouldn't have to pay it. In a call to action, distilleries stepped up to make hand sanitizer when the need was great. Local distilleries even donating some bottles to homeless shelters and frontline workers. But on top of an already difficult year, now they say they're being penalized with surprise fees for making the hand sanitizer. Fees that could wipe some of these businesses out. The hottest commodity of 2020, hand sanitizer, became a new product of distilleries across the country within a day's notice using the alcohol in drinks like gin and whiskey to kill germs. In a six week period, we made 5,000 gallons of hand sanitizer that was shipped all throughout the state. For distilleries like Cowboy Spirits and Co. and Paso Robles, making sanitizer was an opportunity to bring back furloughed employees and avoid bankruptcy during the pandemic. Now, Berg and nearly 800 other distillers in the U.S. owe $14,000 to the FDA. No good deed goes unpunished. Like what I could have done is what some others did and not register with the FDA and, and, and not follow the rules and just start making it without registering. Um, but because I registered and I did the right thing, uh, I got audited and uh, now I'm getting taxed. Shock rippling through the industry. I think there must be some mistake, honestly, because we're the good guys. We're the guys that they wanted us to help, and we jumped in and helped. You know, that was our whole purpose, and there was no talk about that we'd have to pay later for helping. The CARES Act, passed in March, changed regulation of non prescription drugs, which allowed distilleries to make the product under FDA guidelines. But under the revision, distilleries are classified as over the counter monograph drug facilities which means business owners have to pay the associated fees for the fiscal year by February 12th. It was such a rush to get going on it. Nobody even tried to make money. I mean, these guys were just trying to get it out in people's hands. Honestly, it was just goodwill. In an email to KSBY, an FDA spokeswoman says the info about the fee was posted to the agency's website back in May. On Tuesday, December 27th, it announced how much that fee would be. I, I feel like the FDA welcomed me in when they needed me, but now they're showing me the door and letting me hit it, letting it hit me on the way out. Distillery owners have until the end of 2020 to decide whether or not they want to continue sanitizer production. If they do, it'll cost them another 14 grand. So for those business owners that are shut down or on vacation and miss the memo, they could wake up January 1st out thousands of dollars. In Paso Robles, I'm Megan Healy, KSBY News. The Distilled Spirits Council of the United States said in a press release the FDA's announcement came with no warning and they were urging the FDA to waive those fees. And we learned just moments ago that the FDA has decided to reverse the fees and we'll have more on this story coming up tonight at 6.